All right, guys, you can see day 103. Get your worksheet. We'll get started. Capitalization is on your own. We'll check it at the tail end. Uh, so we'll go right into punctuation. Punctuation is a review today. Do not use a colon for lists beginning with a verb. Incorrect. The prizes are, quote, pinwheel, uh, colon, pinwheels, yo-yos, and rings. That's wrong. What's correct is the prizes are pinwheels, yo-yos, and rings. No colon. I am almost positive that one of you has a thesis sentence that says like the two life lessons are colon and then you listed them. I'm thinking I might have even suggested that for you. <laughs> uh, or if you did it, I don't think that I corrected it. Uh, if you are that person, bring your essay to the next class, show me the error and we'll correct it and I will give you a bonus point, okay? Because that was wrong. <laughs> I don't know why you get something wrong and you get a bonus point, but that's just the kind of teacher that I am. Okay, joyful. The young mother bought cake, candles, napkins, and ice cream for her one-year-old's birthday party. All right, where's the verb? The verb is bought. So what do we know is not going to go after bought, even though there's a list? There's not going to be a colon. Joyful, comma. The young mother bought cake, comma, candles, comma, napkins, comma, and ice cream for her one-year-olds. There would be um, dashes there, one-year-olds, and then olds would be apostrophe s, because it's the one-year-olds party. It belongs to the one-year-old. There's possession there, apostrophe s, birthday party, period. What does that actually look like? Joyful, comma, the young mother bought cake, comma, candles, comma, napkins, comma, and ice cream for her one-year-old's birthday party, period. Good job. Analogies. Pupil is to eye as aperture is to, hmm, in order to know the meaning for that, uh, what the answer is, you need to know what an aperture is because you know that a pupil is the opening to the eye. So what's the aperture and what might that have to do with your choices? Get your handy dandy dictionary, look up the word aperture, and what you'll find out is an aperture is an opening in a lens that receives light, that permits light through. All right, so now that you know what an aperture is, it's an opening that permits light through, pupil is to eye as aperture is to telescope, apartment, nose, or tool. Okay, hopefully you figured out pretty quickly that it's telescope. That's the answer. Next section. Uh, that's because the aperture is letting light go in to the lenses of the telescope. Just like the pupil lets the light go into the lens of the eye. All right, parts of speech verbs. The perfect tense is formed with to have plus the past participle form of a verb. The past participle form of a regular verb adds ed. You've had this in previous worksheets. The past participle form of an irregular verb does not add ed, but a different ending. You have a list somewhere of um, irregular verb endings, so you might want to have that handy. Uh, example, regular verb in the perfect tense would be had stopped, and the irregular verb in the perfect tense would be had run. All right, so we have present perfect, have driven, has driven, past perfect, had driven, future perfect, will have driven, or shall have driven. All right, so let's take a look at the first sample, 4A. The singer and they want the present perfect of to appear in concert, okay? So we go up to present perfect and we see for present perfect, we have either have or has plus the past, um, past participle of the verb, all right? So we have the singer would either be have appeared or has appeared. Well, because it's just a single singer, we know that the proper verb would be has. So it would be the singer has appeared in concert. 
Next, we have two investors and the present perfect of buy, to buy. So again, we know present perfect would be either have or has. Um, the past of buy is bought. So with it being two investors, we would say two investors have bought houses. Several teams past perfect of to trade. All right, so past perfect puts it into had. So we would say several teams had traded players. Okay, so I'm gonna fix my answer because I have the wrong answer. <laughs> Fixing it right now. All right, so we have the um, present perfect would be has appeared. For B, present perfect, have bought. For C, past perfect, they snuck that in there on me, had traded. Sentence combining, you can do on your own. There's three sentences. And then we'll move on to looking at the capitalization. You should have done it on your own. So we will um, correct. There were um, so there was new information presented. Hopefully you read that carefully. Let's take a look. Here's what the answer key shows. We're going to talk about this for a second, okay? The professor at Pepperdine University, capitalized, said you will be capitalized. It's the first word of a quote. You will need access to volume, would be capitalized, the V, volume 17, on that disc and bookmark page 125. Okay, now the answer key said to capitalize the P in page, but if you look in the um, uh, explanation, it says nouns used with numbers or letters for labeling minor parts are not capitalized, and their example is page 242 and page isn't capitalized. So I don't think page 125, I don't think it should be capitalized. I think that that was a mistake. So I'm going with no capitalization for um, the P. But this will be a good test for me to see if you guys actually listen to me or if you just copy down the answers. So those of you who just copied down the answers will have a capital P. And those of you who actually watch the video will make sure that the P is not capitalized. I wonder which person you will be. Maybe I should give a bonus point. I think I'll do that. I'm going to give a bonus point to the people that do not have the P in page capitalized. All right. Very good. God bless you.